What's up, everybody? Nighty Spaceman Kid here, and I'm back because, you know, I was going to hold off on doing any reviews because, you know, I was going to save, like, all the movies I saw during quarantine for, like, one big giant list because I want to rank them and, and just I thought it would be an interesting thing to do. But I do have to just talk about this new show. Well, it's the second season, but um, if anyone's seen The Boys, then, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's a, If you haven't seen it, you should watch it, like, immediately. It's a, it's a fantastic show. Season two's on right now. It's about halfway through it. Um, it's been fantastic so far. Um, it's, you know, it's very similar to the first season, but I think they've done a great job, of, you know, escalating the tension and the drama and, you know, all that sort of stuff that made the first season so strong, you know, they were just improving upon it on the season, which I think is fantastic. You know, there's new characters that are even better that adds even more to the mythology of what's going on and to the story, you know, of what's going on as well. And, you know, the character development is, you know, virtually flawless. I have to be honest, you know, it's outstanding except for like, you know, maybe one or two people that like either don't have a character or they really don't do much with it. But, um, really, I'll shut the cops, Popo. You know, it's crazy out there, as you all know, so, you know, stay safe and everything, but I really just got to say, man, you know, um, The Boys, it's a fantastic show. Um, Homelander, that's, this is the first time I've been intimidated by a grown man since I was, like, 14, man, straight up. You know, it's so great. Um, you know, he's just, this performance is phenomenal, the character is phenomenal, and it's just, you know, just basically imagine a Superman was a giant dick, and that's what you get, and just, you know, the show at large, it's also, you know, just to give you a little heads up, it is about, you know, like, superheroes, but, you know, portrayed unflatteringly in, like, a very realistic light, especially, you know, with things going on, it's, I feel like it's very accurate and true to, like, you know, probably how this would really run if, like, they actually had superheroes and that sort of thing, but there's also a lot more to it than just that, um, I don't want to give out too much detail, just because you should just watch the show, I'll be honest, you know, it's, uh, it's all on Amazon Prime, it's free on Amazon Prime, so it's, you know, not only is Amazon Prime, like, the easiest app to get a hold of, but this is free on that, so it's, like, you know, and if not, you just be a grown ass and torn it. It's just cool too. But you know, I just have to say, the boys, season two now. If you haven't seen season one, watch that first. Absolutely. But it's you know, it's one of the best shows on anything you'll ever see. You know, Netflix, Hulu, whatever. You know, it's on Amazon Prime, so props to them. But just the team behind it is fantastic. Um, my friend had told me about it years ago. He told me how you know he read this comic called The Boys, and he explained basically you know exactly what the story is, and from what. He's explained it as um, it sounds very faithful, and I know he is a fan of the original comic, and he likes to show a lot. So he definitely, you know, if he gives a thumbs up, then you should really watch it. So thank you, everybody. Um, you know, still be more stuff coming on as soon as, you know, everything gets a little less hectic. You know, I, I want to get a lot out there. So um, stay safe, everyone. Um, you know, wear your fucking mask. Seriously, at this point, like... Just, just do it, man. We, we, we all want to be done with this. So just step it up until there's a vaccine. And then when the vaccine comes out, take the vaccine too, man. It's not going to kill you. Don't be crazy. Microchips aren't real. 